paying my students grade five uh, this afternoon. Okay, this is Saud and Tamim. Okay, okay, welcome to all of you. Uh, today is the last session and the last topic for second semester uh, review. Topic number four is volume of prisms. Volume of prisms. Uh, before we're going to uh, find or uh, explain how to find the volume of prisms, uh, we have to know first what mean of the prisms. Prisms is a three-dimensional figure. Prisms are three-dimensional figures. Okay, it has length, width, and height. This we name it by three-dimensional figure. Okay, so it has three dimensions, length, width, and height. Okay, and this sum of the prisms with their properties about the faces, vertices, and edges. Okay, you know the face is a surface or a flat surface for the prism. Vertex, uh, it's a corner. Okay, a vertex is a point where three or more faces are meet. This one. And each is uh, the lines, okay, determine the dimensions for the prism called each, okay, or the corners. Uh, here, this table showing us the number of faces, vertices, and edges for each of uh, cube, rectangular prism, and triangular prism. As you see here, cube and rectangular prism have the same number of faces, vertices, and edges. As you see, number of faces, there are six. Number of vertices, there are eight. Number of edges, there are 12. What difference between cube and the rectangular prism? You know, so what difference between cube and rectangular prism? You know the difference between them? So you heard me? Okay, the difference between cube and rectangular prism is the shape of faces. Here, the cube shape of faces are squares, and in rectangular prism, the shape of faces are rectangles. Okay, if I had to join us now, I think. Yes, I had the mean. Okay, and it's uh, only be left. I don't know where, why. Okay, join us now again. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay. The Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi problem. I have a uh, problem. Okay, no problem. I'm just yeah. for you. And here, uh, uh, Fahad, I'm trying to unmute you, Fahad. Okay. Okay, just wait just here. Okay, that Okay, cube and rectangular prism. So both of them have the same number of faces, vertices, and edges. Six faces, eight yeah. faces and edges. There are twelve. What difference between yeah. cube and rectangular prism? What difference? You know? uh, the difference is the rectangular prism like it's straight. Like straight more than the cube yeah and the the, the rectangular prism has rectangular faces the all faces shape yeah. faces there are rectangles and the cube yeah. the faces as squares a squares okay okay and there are here also uh, there is a triangular prism triangular prism it has the Five faces and six vertex and uh, nine, nine edges. Yes, and there are two triangular faces and three rectangular faces. The number of faces, there are five, okay, divided into two parts, two triangular faces and three rectangular faces. Rectangular prism and triangular prism, what different the bases? Here it has two triangular faces, but rectangular. Uh, prism, all faces are rectangles, but in triangular prism, there are two faces are triangular, called two triangular faces, and the other faces 
are rectangular. Okay. Okay, let's go for okay. back is how to find or what the volume of the volume of prism. We can use two formulas. As you see here, there are two formulas. By find the product of its uh, dimensions, length by width by height, as you see, the volume is length times by width times by height. This is the first formula. Or we can use the second one is pH means area of base times height. The volume is area of base times Hello. Height. Hello. Is this? Hello, who is this? It's to me. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, where is this uh, volume? We can use any of this formula according to the given. As we see here, the first one, we can use length times by width times by width uh, times by height. If I have the all dimensions, as we see in example number one, I have here the length, width, and the height. Okay, if we consider this, the length, which is uh, 11, and this is the width, which is seven, and this is the height, which is nine. I have the old dimensions of the prism. To find its volume, just find the product of all dimensions. But if I learn, I read so 11 times by 7 times by 9 equals to 690. Okay, this is how to use the first formula. The second one is multiply, multiply what? base area or area of the base times by height. Okay, here as you see here, giving us here the base or the area of the base is 24 and this is the height. So I use the formula which is volume equals base area or area of the base times by height. Area of the base is 24 times by height, which is 12. The answer is 288. Okay, someone, okay, you understand the meme and so? Someone, yeah, did. and I don't know who is, I think this is sad. Okay, I'm trying many times to unmute you, Fahad. As you see, it's from his device. Yeah, uh, if you have any question, please you can chat with me. Okay, uh, what is chatting? No, no, I hear you. Hello, okay, yes, okay. You can hear me, and I can hear you too. Okay, good to me. Uh, good fact. You understand this first part of this uh, session? How to yeah. find the volume of prism? Yeah. Okay, you have to promote by multiply length by width by height, or my by multiply the base area times by height. Okay, let's apply this practice to solve the practice number. Here, the facts, number one and two. Same as we did in the first two examples, okay? Here, I want to find the area of this present. I have what, guys? I have the dimensions, right? Length, width, and height. The old dimension. So I can use the first formula. If I consider this is the length, and this is width, and this is the height. So I can use a formula by length, by width, by height. Okay, and here I have the area of base and this is the height. So I can use the formula, which is volume equal B times by H. So here I can write the formula here, the area, sorry, the volume is Length times by width times by height. Length times by width times by height. Okay, so it would be equal. Okay, the length is 10. 
times by width, which is A, times by height, which is 15, okay, equals what? Equals what? I uh, can use properties. You know, A times by 10 equals 80. They multiply 80 times by 15. Okay, I can make a pass here. Sorry. Okay, it could be what? A times 10 is 80. They multiply 80 times by 15. It'll be 1,200. Okay, it's a volume. Teacher, did I come late? What? Did I come late? Who's speaking? Me, Amir. Amir, yes? Hello, Amir. Yes, hello. Okay, uh, again, this one again. I can use a formula by length times width times by height to find the volume of this. I multiply 10 times by 8. Yeah. yeah, times by 15. 15. The answer is 1,200. Um, stop. Yeah. There is like some people, like American people. This is one thousand two hundred. They say twelve hundred. Again, again. There is like American people who like live in America. They don't say one thousand two hundred. They say twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Yes, it's okay. It's the same. This like ball, they, and they say 1500 1500 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you're right yeah. yes yeah Bill okay next one number two i can use the formula of what at the area of the base given 176 and the height which is four so i can multiply 176 by four times by four equals to what? Okay, 176, I by 176 times by four, be what? What? Four times by six, 24, four. right four, and carry up two. Will be 704. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, you are right. So 7 times by 4, 28. 28 plus 8 is 30. You write 0 and the pair of 3. As we learned, we call it by what? Did you remember? 4 times 1 equals 4 plus 2 plus 2 is 7. So the answer is 704. The unit is a cubic picture. The PR. The unit of the volume. Okay. Do you understand this one? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's go for the next part. Next and the last page, uh, number three to number six. Here. Okay, find the volume by multiply what? And length times by width times by height. Length, which is two, times by the width, which is four, which is it? The height is what? Three. The height is three. Yeah. So now I can find the product for this. It would be what? Two times by four equals eight. 
equals to it. Equals to three equals twenty-four. Equals to twenty-four. Tamim raise his hand. Okay, let's wait, Tamim. I'll take you now. Uh, cubic inch, as we know. Yes, Tamim, you have a question. Tamim, raise his hand. I am with you already, Tamim. Okay, now, uh, number four. Number four, okay, given us already the all dimensions, the width and the height. So I multiply 26 times by 12 times by three. Easier, I can multiply, I can write 26. Hello, family. No, I don't have any Yes, have music. Yeah. I can make, uh, you know, associative security to so take wall and three to be 36. And then now I come up by 36 by 26. By, uh, 36 times by 26 equals 936. Okay, you have uh, the strategy how to multiply multi digit number, right? Okay. Now, number five, uh, you can start with me with number five. Me, teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. uh, and, uh, the volume of the, uh, uh, of the square, uh, of the square prims, yeah, it's cute. Present, yes, cube. Cube. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, present. Uh, it is uh, 11 times 11 times 11. Yes, 11 times by 11 times by 11. Yeah. yeah. I cannot buy 11 by 11. Hello, family. No, hello, family. 1 by 121 by 11. The answer would be what? 1,000. 1331. Yeah. After question six, we finish the stream. Yeah. No. No. No, teacher. There is eight, seven, and eight. Yeah, yeah, so seven and eight. So number uh, six multiply nine by 23 by 16 to find the volume. By multiplying nine times by twenty three times by sixteen. Okay, length nine times by the width is sixteen times by height, which is twenty three. Okay, I can use associated to multiply first nine. And Nine times the sixteen equals five. Nine times the six equals fifty-four. Four times five. five. Nine times the nine plus five equals fifteen. And then multiply one hundred forty-four by twenty-three. So the answer would be what? The answer would be two thousand three hundred four. Two Okay. 
This okay. is the last one. See the best in the height. Teacher, mute me. Someone here. Teacher. Okay. Teacher, there is a music and the. Yeah, it's from. Okay, okay, okay. We solved it already. Now, next one, number seven and eight. I can use, uh, you know, the volume by writing. Base area times by height. Area of the base times by height. Also here, area of base times by height. So I will write here, the volume is 108 times by height, which is nine, equals what? Nine times eight is 72. Okay, so 972. Okay. And next one, number. 90 times by 11. 90 times. Oh, teacher, I know what to take. What can I say? Yeah. 990. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. So, 990. Okay, do you have any question about this lesson? No. No. Okay, already we finished. Okay, and this last session uh, for this semester, okay. Uh, yeah. See you, inshallah, next year. Yeah. I will miss you. And see you, inshallah. And uh, don't forget, we have many electronic homework in the School of Fight. If you can join today or log in your account, yeah, so okay. much better, okay. Have a nice day and have a nice long vacation. Okay. Uh, Mister. Yeah. Uh, uh, the electronic homework. I do it or no? Because the year well, ends. Up to you, Todd. If you want to play, so be my so more okay. more flexible. Okay. okay. See you. Oh, it's a good boy, teacher. Bye. Bye.